French mould is by far the worst disease that budgies, but most parrots get too. It can kill a lot of them, it can be very serious, and they eventually lose all their feathering and so on. Yet it needn't be a problem, and it's something that, well, I'm on my hobby horse here. Uh, French mold's a disease of wild parrots. There's a dispute on which virus it is, but polyomavirus for the sake of something. They've seen them in the wild with them. In captivity, back as far as 1870, when budgies first went to Europe, uh, they had cases of what's called French mold. It doesn't come from France at all, it's just one of those names. Now, the thing that annoys me is that about 25 years ago, they actually worked out a vaccine for French malt, which means the end of French malt. Gone, finished. And the budgie clubs and the vets never did anything about it. It was Murdoch Uni in Western Australia. They came out with this wonderful product to help save birds' lives and give them better quality of life and the whole thing. And guess what? No one did anything. The big thing with budgies is they're not like us. Humans have the ability to recover wonderfully from all sorts of diseases. Budgies don't. They're a live fast, die young species. If they get disease, it's very difficult to save them. And the, the French malt often leaves them in a miserable condition. Some recover and all the rest of it, but there's a heck of a lot of them get it. I got back onto Murdoch Uni and said, how, can you give us some of them? I can't understand why these idiots in the budgie clubs and the vets that should have got onto this, why they didn't get the vaccine. And they said, well, no one wanted it. So we kept it there for a year or two and we threw it away because there was nothing to do with it. I said, that's right, can you make up some more? And they said, no, we can't because it's very expensive and we really only had sort of the money to look at something, some way of doing it that proved that it could be done, but we can't do it again. That perhaps is the worst thing that bird keepers uh, and vets ever did to the budgerigar or, or all those other parrots, and it's unforgivable. The other thing that really annoys me is what causes it. And I can't see that there's any other cause than mites, and particularly red mites. Like the Anopheles mosquito that spreads malaria, this little red mite, it sucks the blood of particularly budgerigars, and when it does that, it looks like it transmits these viruses to the bird. How do I know? Well, they haven't done the tests with budgies, nobody bothers, but they have done the tests with chickens, and they have red mites, and they found that the red mites did in fact carry uh, this particular sort of virus or, or a related one. It's just awful to think that we've treated our birds so badly. So I I'm going to keep following this. If, if you follow the stuff I do, I'm going to keep following this. We, we really can do something about this and it's unforgivable. It's 150 years since we saw French malt on a budgie to now. And they've only done nothing. And one last thing, a message to the bird vets. Prevention is essential, and it's a hundred times better than trying to cure the poor things. I would have a list of things to do, which I would give how to avoid them getting sick. There's ways of saying, of, of quarantining, and, and if they're caused by mites, you control the mites, but we need to have vets putting out a list of preventing disease rather than giving you chemicals that mostly don't work once the birds have got the disease.